The ushers uh, normally arrive at least a half an hour before the beginning of the service. The ushers serve as the forerunner uh, for the service. In essence, they uh, prepare the church for the parishioners. Dear Lord, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Uh, they would uh, place the bulletins uh, in the proper places, especially on the choir loft or the pulpit. Uh, they would uh, check the pews to see if there are collection envelopes available. Once the service starts, everything is in place uh, for the parishioner and, and the guests. Uh, Hemingway is, is part of the National United Church Arts Association of America Incorporated. We practice uh, our training at the School of Ushering. We only use signs and singles to uh, communicate in the service. There's very little talking going on among the, the ushers. Once the parishioners arrive at church, they are greeted uh, by a, a usher at the door with a smile, welcoming them to the, the Hemingway Church and extending it to them uh, a program and, uh, and offering them a seat. It is important to have a certain personality or a demeanor that will be inviting to that uh, parishioner or guest because you, you never know uh, who is coming in through your doors. And the first person that they meet will be an, an usher. Once service starts, we try to uh, seat all visiting guests or any uh, parishioners uh, towards the front and move towards the back so that any late uh, parishioners or guests which arrive uh, do not necessarily disrupt the service by going up to the front. We normally uh, have ushers on in aisles from 15 to 20 minutes uh, depending on, on the number of ushers that you have serving that day. Because of, of our aisles are, are narrow, uh, the ushers turn their back to the, to the wall to allow for the relieving ushers to to come to stand behind them. Being a church usher is important because an usher keeps order and decorum within a service. As an usher, you just, just need to be focused and, and always uh, cognizant of what's going on in, in the service. I don't know if anyone who have attended a, a service will, will actually notice that when a, an usher is, is on duty, and even when they are going through the prayer position, their eyes are never closed. They are always uh, have the head bowed, but they always are surfacing uh, the congregation because you never know when someone, one, may be ill or, an, or something other incident may be occurring and it is your duty to, to protect that congregation. Being an, an usher on duty uh, and being also a parishioner to me is a dual function. It is not unusual to see an usher who are on duty to get involved in the service because the spirit will, will, will flow anywhere at, at any time. You always have to be cognizant as an usher in the aisles, so you, you try not to be overwhelmed. However, if you're overwhelmed by the spirit, there's nothing which you can do but just let it go and, and just let uh, uh, the, the usher in charge would send a relief down to your position. I am an usher because uh, uh, God has given me that talent I, and he also has given me a, a blessing to be a blessing to others.